Zone routing protocol is a hybrid protocol. So we combine both proactive and reactive approach. Both thing we combine. And the good things about these two are taken. Now we have different zones. And these zones will not have any overlapping. Not like this. One zone and two zones, they will be separate. They will not have any overlapping. And Z1 and Z2, these different zones may have different protocols. They will use different protocols. They may use. So whichever is inside this zone, all the protocol, proactive protocols are being used here. This is called intra zone, inside a zone. And what is going in between Z1 and Z2? That is inter zone. That is inter zone. And reactive protocols are used here. The main thing is how you have decided the zone. I'll give you an example. This is a zone. Now it would have been zone uh, radius 1. So if you start from here, whichever it is connected, that is one hop. So all these are directly connected to this S. So this is Z, the, the zone radius 1. So only this will be the zone. When we take zone radius as 2, then they, we will take two hops. That is from here to here, from here to here. All these two hops, all these nodes from S, which are at a distance of two hops. So this is the first hop where Z equals 1. And this reds will be included for Z equals 2. So the internal nodes are blue one and the outer one which are one hop is one hop are internal nodes and red ones red ones are two hops and these are called peripheral nodes these are called peripheral nodes so this all blue and red will come in one zone one zone and these whites you see outside they are they will be in different zone z2 you can say nodes outside routing zone so they will not come in this zone and there will be all inside will use the the proactive protocol uh, this route protocols and outside between zones it will use the reactive protocols reactive right so there will be the different type of protocols working here